Oh, sorry. Hi there. I didn't notice you. It was just AFK. Oh, you weren't meant to see this. I'm sorry. Let's let's get started. So, this is um, this is gonna be another replay of Storm. And this is gonna be a dual lane. And I think I'm gonna Twitter dual offlane storm is legit because I Twitter offlane storm is legit. And Sunan said, oh dear. And that made me cry in my sleep. Or actually when I went to sleep, or probably I cried myself to sleep. <laughs> and I think that has said that that I pops were already ruined enough. So, but I don't know. I think um, solo offlane storm can be good in some matchups, but in some lanes they can really get decimated. And so, what I'm basically going to suggest is that you try to, you know, you mark map and storm offlane, and you ask someone to to be the support there. So you go dual offlane. And the thing is that I think storm offlane without any support, like pretty much, I have Omni Knight which is not that great laner, but pretty much anyone should be able to, to stand against the tri lane, unless it's like probably the best tri lane. So that's basically, um, if, you, if you look at Storm and you compare Storm with say, let's have like PA offlane with someone or, you know, Spectre offlane or Slug offlane with someone, I, I think that's a lot less strong than Storm offlane. Um, so basically, it, it's, I think it's okay being solo, but actually being dual lane, I think it's one of the best heroes to be there. And I guess, you know, this is not the perfect replay to watch because we do get the career, but still, we're against the Slark and we're against the Pudge and we're against the Silencer. So we are against a, a tri lane. Um, and we did pretty well in this matchup, even though Omni just did something very weird in the beginning. If they went for me, I think it would actually like be way better. So so actually this is a good replay because you know we get courier but they get first blood. So I think it's like pretty pretty equal. And I opted to go for the fast magic wand here instead of the null talisman. Um I th I'm not I'm actually not completely sure if you should get null or you should go fast magic wand. What I really love about both having magic wand and the fairy fire is the fact that you can get so much heal when they go for you. And it's really easy to, you know, make them think that they actually, they're gonna kill you and then you heal up and you make another remnant and then you end up killing them. So it's actually most of my guides, I think pretty much all my guides have been, you know, go solo offlane. And I guess the reason for it is that I don't, I don't usually, I haven't made, you know, guides with, you know, for teams or for teammates. Um, and this is not really like I have a teammate, it's basically just like I'm going, you know, offlane, do you want to like help me at the offlane? So, yeah, this is basically that. And um, it's, again, if if you if you can't get anyone to, to help you there, then just, you know, you can actually go solo. And if I had, if I had been solo this, I think I would probably start with a null. And I would go to lane, and if they were try lane, I would just, you know, try to stand a bit. And if they start stoning me, I would just go to uh, to this camp right here, and then kill that. And then, you know, have a TP and be ready to, to TP in. And that's basically pretty much any off lane. If you're against the Silencer and Slark and Pudge, you're not going to be able to stand there. But, so I have, but you know, if you dual off lane, then I think Storm is like, it's a really good dual off lane hero, because... He has the remnant and he has the, so much armor, so it's it's actually really tough for people to go on him. If he's solo, he, no problem. You know, people if they're trying, they can go on him easily, usually. But if he has anyone to support him, then it's gonna be really really hard. So basically, you know, if I had Skyred, if I had um, Rubik in my lane, if I had you know, uh, Pudge here, if I had Silence here, whatever, and Venomans, like pretty much any hero. That's not, you know, gonna be like Spectre or something, which would make any sense. I think basically the only thing, if you want to do this, you need to like make clear that you're gonna farm it. And yeah, I think people should be, you know, positive 
uh, it shouldn't be that hard to convince someone that you know don't try him but just let's let's do a lane here and let's try to own the side lane see they, they go for me here and first I use the stick and then I use the fairy fire and I might say I could actually have probably waited a bit more to bait Slark into keep attacking me we might actually have been able to kill him there but maybe I got a bit scared <laughs> I think Omni is getting all the kills but that's okay Somebody has somebody requested a full replay and this is not that interesting to watch later. And I think I'd like to prefer just making pretty much focus on the laning stage because I've I have done a uh, storm guide before. So there's like there's four watts of me playing storm. If you search for slash a storm spirit full game or just slash a storm spirit. Um and it, you know it's basically it's pretty much the same. Just how you, you approach it, you know, if you're offlaner, just different lane, I guess. So I think I'm just gonna like upload short video where I, where I just talk a bit and just focus on the lane stage because that's basically, you know, what I'm actually suggesting is just Storm can be pretty good at offlane. And I think the role is, I, I, you know, I don't actually like him that much in the middle because I don't know, I think he just feels pretty weak against a lot of heroes. You know, if I was against the OD mid, that would be not very fun. And, you know, even like, I don't even, I don't like being against Pardon mid or any other hero. And it also feels like you can get a lot more farm being, you know, dual offlane within support here. You know, because I basically have, have free farm here. And in the middle, you can expect that pretty much like 75% of the creeps are gonna be contested so you're gonna miss a lot but this you know they pretty much gave up on this landing stage so which i think actually surprised me a bit that you know storm or slack science and Pudge they weren't able to zone us completely even though <laughs> only gave first blood and i guess that it kind of equals out that we got chicken and you know they got first blood but this just means that Slag is not able to farm at all. Like we shut down Slag so much, except of course that first part. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Um, and wow, I can't believe I just clicked on this. How do I make this go away? Why isn't there like an X button that I can? But I, I I can't. I don't understand this game. <laughs> 